Hello, my name is Bill. I'm pastor at Freedom's Lutheran Church here in Gibsonville, North Carolina. Thank you very much for joining me for this moment of devotion. This morning, I was thinking, um, actually, I was kind of a little bit troubled. Troubled because it is so easy to react and respond to the world's violence with a kind of violence ourselves. And maybe we're not talking physical violence. Maybe we're not talking verbal violence, but the violence that we, that we respond to in the world, maybe it doesn't come out, but maybe we think it and it pervades our thoughts. Ooh, I'd like to get him. Oh, I'd like to pay her back. And when we think like that, even if we don't act on it, and if, even if we don't speak on it, it, that thinking gets into our hearts and we develop an animosity toward other people. We begin to develop a kind of bitterness toward them that does not go away. And while we might not say or do anything, it certainly shows up in how we approach or don't approach people. Um, it shows up in maybe us ignoring them or us belittling them in their minds. Oh, here they go again, talking about X, Y, and Z. All that stuff is a kind of violence toward others. So how do we escape the bitterness? Well, that's when our Lord Jesus steps in because as we rest in him, in the peace and the love, the hope and the joy that he offers with his presence, as we live into his presence, he begins to manifest in us a different kind of fruit, a spiritual fruit, if you will. And the kind of spiritual fruit that he manifests uh, replaces bitterness with kindness, replaces hatred with generosity, um, and on and on it goes. And so what I'm thinking of here is uh, Galatians 5, 22 and 23, where it talks about the fruits of the Spirit Fruits grow on account of the health of the tree. And in the same way, when we are healthily connected to our Lord Jesus through the Holy Spirit, we can manifest these fruits in our lives. A fruit that is sweet and a fruit that is good for others. A fruit that feeds others. So Galatians 5, 22 and 23 read, By contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against such things. May your day be marked by your connection to the Holy Spirit. And as you let Jesus work through you, may you touch the world with kindness and the other fruits as well. Thank you for joining me for this moment of devotion. If you care to, you're welcome to join me for other moments of devotion at freedens.church, F-R-I-E-D-E-N-S dot church. Please stay in touch with us through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, the variety of social media that we have by looking up Freedens Lutheran Church ELCA or Freedens ELCA. God bless you, and I look forward to talking with you tomorrow.